Hello students, so today we're going to continue with 5.4b. So it's the same agenda. I just added a b in here because it's um, it was going to be a super long video. Um, so I decided to break it in two. But uh, we're going to decide whether functions are even or odd, okay? Whether they have even or odd symmetry. And so again, this is these are the formulas um, that we'll be using to decide whether they are even or odd. So I have here number nine. <clears throat> and so if you recall from the first part of the video is the first we're going to replace the x by negative x. Okay, so we're going to find the f of negative x by replacing the x by negative x. So in here, what you need to know is that because of the absolute value, you will always get the same value whether this is positive or negative, okay? Only if you have one value inside, okay? If you're adding or subtracting, then that's a different story. So basically, if we were to simplify it, we know that because it's only one value, the answer will always be positive of that x. If we have in here the, the absolute value of negative x, you also get the, the positive of that value of x. So again, when the original function is the same as the f of negative 2, I mean ne f of negative x, then that means that the, the, um, the symmetry is even. Okay, It has even symmetry if they are the same. So, I'm going to sketch the graph in here, and this is the graph, this is how it looks, and when it has even symmetry, it means that if you fold it, then this part will match the part on the left, okay? So it's perfect, because it does. If it, if it was not the same, then that means that you would have to try the odd, so do the negative f of x, okay? So let's do another one. What if it's where you're adding something? So in here, basically, we can just, we cannot say that you always have positive x plus 4 because we don't know what the value of x is. So we cannot simplify that. Okay, and so uh, f of negative x is equal to the absolute value of negative, meaning the opposite of what x is plus 4. Again, just because we're adding something in here, we cannot simplify that. We cannot automatically take it as, as positive. You always do the addition first, or multiplication, or whatever is going on inside. And until you get one, one number, that's when you can take the absolute value of that number. So that's why, since we don't know the value of that, we cannot take it out. Okay, so basically this does not look like this, so it's not going to be... Uh, it's not even, then we're going to do the negative f of x, meaning take the opposite of that. So we're going to put a negative outside, and the absolute value of x plus 4. Well, um, whatever answer we get in here, okay, if, if whatever number we got, if we replace or substitute by values, that means that the answer in here will be the negative. And in here, we don't have a match. And so it's not going to be, they're not the same, so it's not odd. So we're going to say neither. Okay? Again, for them to be even, these have to be the same. For them to be odd, for, for the graph, for the function to be odd, then these have to be the same, and they're not the same. So that's why we put neither. And if you look at the graph, let me sketch it. If you recall, the absolute value is the original goes in here, but then this goes to the left for spaces. So it's going to be something like this. Now, if you fold it along this line, fold it in here, you're just going to end up with something like that. Okay? And if you rotate it 180 degrees, you don't get the same graph because the original was here. This For this function, it was here. Okay, so that's why it's neither, neither um, even nor odd. Okay, 
let me write another one so let's do f of x is equal to the absolute value of x and this time i'm going to start with the graph again you don't have to do the, gra the graph but uh, it's good if you recall the absolute value of x you just end up with something like this okay from previous lessons you just had to sketch and that's what you will get and so algebraically we notice that it doesn't match if you fold it because there is nothing to match it with and if you rotate it you end up with something in here so it doesn't match either okay but let me show you algebraically you have f of negative x is equals to the absolute value of and now x is negative x if you re well it doesn't match because one is positive one is negative and you cannot simplify anymore now let's do the negative of f of x meaning the opposite of this function right get the function and multiply it by negative so negative and the function of x is square root of x so these don't look the same okay these answers don't look the same so therefore is neither as well now i'm going to show you um if you recall from previous lessons this is just so that we understand why they are different if you recall from uh previous lessons the absolute value of x let's say d just give value of x as 25 maybe so the absolute the square root not the absolute value i'm sorry the square root of 25 is 5 because two numbers that multiply times itself equals 25 well that will be 5. now for this one if we're talking about the absolute the square root of negative x uh, then we put negative 25 and if you remember the square root of a negative becomes i and the square root of 25 is 5. and the negative okay now i'm doing this part the negative uh square root of x then let's do negative square root of 25 if you recall this because it's outside you just bring it sorry about that <laughs> and the square root of 25 is 5. so this is this it's not the same as this right they're not the same so it's not even and this is not the same so for this one it will be this one and this will be this as uh, an example of this one they're not the same so therefore is not odd either so, so in here this one is tricky and the reason is because um, for the square root you cannot have a negative inside or otherwise it becomes an imaginary number but this cubic root what it means is that you're looking for a number that multiply times itself two three times yeah three times is equal to the number inside and so in here you are able to get answers for negatives for example if you have the the square root of negative the cubic root of negative eight a number that multiply times itself three times and equals negative eight is negative two why because negative two times negative two times negative two negative times negative positive and positive times negative negative two times two times two eight so you are able to actually get the cubic root of a negative number okay and so in here we're going to have the cubic root of negative x um and we say do they look the same well, one thing that I also uh, showed was by doing kind of like a test where, or by putting the x, remember that this exponent becomes the numerator and the index becomes the denominator. And in here you will have negative x, this becomes the numerator, this becomes the denominator. Okay, so they don't look the same now the negative f of x is equals to we put the negative and then inside we put the original function which is 
cubic root of x. We put the negative and we rewrite this as x. The exponent becomes the numerator, the index becomes the denominator. Okay. And so when we multiply this, negative times positive, it becomes negative, and then x, 1 to the third. So this is from another lesson also converting from roots to rational exponents. And it's easier to compare this because you can see that they are the same, and so we can say that this is odd. Um, the graph, the sketch for this will be something like this something like that and if you notice if you flip it you end up with the same if you not flip it if you rotate it 180 degrees then you will get the same answer um, once again while I write the other one I would like to apologize for the announcement there okay number 13 and so it's going to be f of x is equals to 1 over x. And I put f of negative x. You put the 1, and this x becomes negative x, which is equals to 1 over negative x. And since you have either the numerator or the denominator, if you, only one of them has a minus, it's the same as putting it in the middle, okay? So all of these are the same, okay? Then we notice that it's not the same because this is positive and this is negative. So let's do the negative f of x. We put the 1 over x, and that's going to be multiplied. That's the original function multiply by the negative out here. So negative times positive is negative one over x. They are the same, so that means that it's odd. Okay, and the sketch for this graph, more or less, is, if you go to Desmos, you will be able to see a better graph, but it's something like this. Yeah. Okay, and as you can notice, if you flip, I mean, if you rotate it 180 degrees, then you will get the same graph. Okay, so now you're able to work on 5.4, and I hope you have fun.